I did want to ask Bill to come up for a moment because uh, Bill Schindler, who's uh, uh, sort of changed uh, in his career of being a, a high-level executive vice president technology type officer on Plasma TV development for Panasonic, prior to that in the development of Plasma TV with Plasmaco and building a lab at uh, uh, Chicago, not MIT. Yeah. What was the school? University where you, of Illinois. Where he was doing advanced degrees in, in all this. He actually built the lab that built the first plasma TVs. Uh, but anyway, right now, he's sort of on the board with, uh, and I'll let him speak more about it, with the Consumer Electronics Association, as well as CEDIA, and uh, developing some standards and lobbying the government for Energy Star. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm taking too much of your thunder. Could you tell us more about that? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Bill. And uh, Robert, in case you haven't noticed, is an excellent salesman. <laughs> yeah, I'm sold on all this stuff. Um, what you don't know, maybe I'll just let you know. Um, one of the manufacturers up here is going to offer the uh, Matrix feature to be shown at the CES this January. And then you just plug in and put it in the zone. You won't have to be jogging anymore. You won't have to go anywhere. You don't have to eat because you're <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, it's really cool that all of you are here because it's very, very clear that you're all aficionados of high definition video. Because if you weren't, this is the best day we've had and probably will for the rest of the year. It's 83 degrees outside, <laughs> clear and sunny. Um, I'm here to talk very briefly about a um, request from the Consumer Electronics Association in conjunction with Cedia is the uh, Custom Electronic Design and Installation Association. We're putting together a standard for TV energy use. And one of the biggest things is what illumination level is present when people are watching TV. Some people have a home theater where it's almost black. Other people are turning on you know, lights and windows and all that. So what we were trying to do is have people with lux meters or even regular illumination meters turned around this way instead of looking at the panel, looking at the room with the diffuser on it, which generally comes with those meters. So you, we're looking for the illumination level in the room. There's an app. You just go to lighting.ce.org. So it's on the web. It explains all this. There's a video, instructional video, and you just use an Android device to load the app or an Apple iPhone and you put in the numbers and it will really help us out because one of the big applications is automatic brightness control. It's used, It's called OPC over here on the Elite, I believe. It's called CATS over on the Panasonic and it's probably called something completely different. They're all automatic brightness control that bring down the TV's brightness as you bring down the lights, okay? We don't know what the illumination is in the average living room. We, we just don't know. No one knows. And so the CEA and CEDIA are trying to get these numbers. So if you just go on the lighting.ce.org, it would be fantastic if you could just take some numbers, especially if you're in the business installing TVs or calibrating them. Just in the customer's um, living room, just maybe you have to ask them, but just sense what the illumination level is as they're watching TV and then just put it into the app. It'd be really, really great. And um, that's it. Is there any question about that? What are you going to do with that information? Oh, what are we going to do with it? Well, <laughs> <laughs> first of all, it's all anonymous. There's, there's no names associated with any of this, okay? So privacy is not a concern. What we are going to do is we're going to analyze the data statistically and try to determine what the average illumination levels is for evening, for daytime use in the United States. That will feed into a standard that the CEA is putting together for measuring TVs for energy usage. And that's being used, those standards are being used all around, um, you know, Energy Star, for example, Department of Energy, Federal Trade Commission, California. All those folks are interested in this because they're all measuring automatic brightness control. And guess what? The power of all these devices coming down tremendously. In fact, um, you've heard of Energy Star. The new spec that started September 30, just a couple weeks ago, dictates that to have that Energy Star, you can't have any more than 108 watts. It's capped. It's hard capped. 
So this light bulb is probably, I don't know, what size are those? Probably? I think they're 75, there might be more. Yeah, well, I can't see anymore. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> your eyes just clip, Bill. Yeah. The bottom line is, look at these TVs, you know? 108 watts, give me a break. It's tremendous all the improvements that we've done. Hey, and, Bill, and would you give important. us the website? We're going to put it up on one of the TVs right now. Yeah, lighting.ce.org. I have a question for you, Bill. Yeah. Um, with a meter like mine, the Minolta CS200 point and shoot um, thermometer, I need a diffuser and turn it around um, away from the screen. Where would I get a diffuser that would give you would give me an accurate um, reading of the luminance in my room? I'd like to do it. For yeah, are, are you talking about the Chroma 5? The I no, no, I'm talking about my Minolta, which is basically it's a point and shoot meter. I put on a tripod, I shoot, and I read things okay. off screen. The best thing to do on those, from, from what I understand according to the um, instructional video, is just put up a whiteboard and sit up here and, and look at it. We're interested in the oh, so illumination as well. I would need the light coming off of that whiteboard exactly. with the TV right. shut off, yeah. just with the room lighting as it is the way I want right. it to be. Okay, great. Exactly. I'll do that for you for sure. Yes. What, um, also, is it candela's per meter squared and its? You just put in whatever unit your and instrument the and the app energy. converts it to a lux. And so, oh, lux, of course. Yeah, if you're using a uh, spot meter, you, you take your white card here and you just point it at that, have your TV off, so you're just okay. measuring the reflected light of the room. Good if you have a photograph, you know, Bob's a big, uh, Robert is a big photographer guy, right? Yeah. And he probably has a bag with a lux yeah, meter in it. I did. And so you take the lux meter and it just gives you the lux. Very high okay. meter. And if you use one of those pods for calibrating, I, I know that the Chroma 5 ships, I believe, with the diffuser. diffuser you just it, yeah. pop the diffuser on and point it out and you're just measuring the lux. It, if it comes out in foot lamberts, you put in foot lamberts in right. the app. And it'll and, convert it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Great, great. Don't leave, Bill. I'm not going to get uh, that either. Lighting.ce.org. I have an image of the, this is the welcome that you get when you hit to the page. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. The hey. CE banner. And it's, very, it's right there at the top. It's just going to direct you to. Right. So uh, we have some online questions as well for Bill. Sure. Yeah, uh, there are two. Um, I'll start with the lighter one. First, someone asked, are the Energy Star requirements making it harder for you guys to make a brighter plasma? Is that is that one of the sort of restricting things that you're counterbalancing against? Whenever you tell someone, as a standard does, to drop the power, okay, yeah. then it's always going to be more difficult to reach that yeah. hurdle, obviously, yeah. okay, yeah. but we've been, we've been Energy Star now for, as version 3, version 4, right. version 5, it gets harder and harder as time goes on, especially with this 108 watt cap, right. because the bigger displays Something like this, a 65 inch, is limited to 108 watts now as a 42 inch or something like that. So right. yeah, it becomes much more difficult. And um, you know, so you can't just make it like defeatable in the service menu, or otherwise they'd, they'd probably be all on your case. Yeah, no, there's, there's very strict rules about how this is all done. So the bigger panels are a big challenge because of the, the hard cap of 108 watts. Yeah. And the short answer to the Energy Star is up to about 50 inch. Even 55 inch, right. 108 watts easier. is do doable. When you start getting 65, it becomes very difficult. So I yeah. don't know if that is going to be energy start at this point with the new spec on September right. 30. Yeah. Depends upon what the factory can do. These are more efficient from last year by 15%. That's pretty impressive. 